guys, it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and I'm back today with everybody's favorite video of the month, what I colored in July. Goodness gracious, a lot is the answer. This is the uh, shadow from all the books stacked up next to me. Um, if my tabulations are correct, I colored 36 pictures this month, uh, and I'm going to show you two from last month after I filmed. Right now, it is the morning of the 29th, so it's possible I will squeeze another two or three in there at this rate, but I'll just show you them in next month's wrap up. So, it's a lot guys. First, I'm going to show you all the color by number and then I'm gonna show you everything else. I think that I was so successful because I mixed it up what I was doing. Let me show you from Disney Babies first. If you watched my mid-month, mid-year wrap up or whatever I called it, I said I wanted to finish this book so I did a few pages in here. I did Dory and Nemo and Squirt. I've been doing the X method, I like these. And I also did Lilo and Stitch. Super cute, it's my personal theme of water movies. But as you're seeing here, I ran out of water movies, so I also did the Three Little Pigs. So there's that. So yeah, I thought this would be the first book I finish. But um, I don't know if that's true anymore when you see the next book. So in July, I got my first Color Questopia. Darn it, I didn't put the overhead light on and hope that it would stop glare. It did not. I did not. Yeah, I got my first Color Questopia. I did this first page and apparently became incredibly addicted to it. I decided to work from the back because it. I've been using alcohol markers and it runs through. So let me just show you. Page number two. See, I don't want to. All right, fine. You'll just get spoiled. Page number two. Page number three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And I'm working on one. I did 10 pages in this book this month. If you've noticed, what I've been doing is mixing up what gel pen I use. A lot of it was just as a test to see what would work best, but also I hate like draining gel pens. So it's a me problem. But um, the metallic definitely works best. Glitter works all right, and it definitely makes it shiny and pretty. Regular does not work very well. I don't know how much, yeah, you can definitely see it, that there is bleed through all over. But I, it's not a huge deal. It looks a little freaky. But I'm absolutely loving this book. If you don't have a color Questopia, I recommend it. I don't know if all the books are like this because this was my first one. I did just get the Turtles this month, but I haven't done a page in there. But what I really like about it is it, like, leads your way. So, like, this will be one, then two, then three. Like, it, it goes out and it goes in a nice order. And so far, you're not really going to have number four down here and up here and over there. It's, like, very cohesive that it does. <clears throat> My big problem with it so far, every single person or every single fairy has been peach with dark brown hair. And that's just weird to me. And like a lot of the color palettes are very repetitive. So every once in a while I just did my own thing. Like that was supposed to be dark brown and I just did blue. But it does make me nervous to do it because what if that is the time that it's everywhere? I don't know. So I, I've i been tweaking it a little as I go, but for the most part, sticking to it. And again, I'm pretty sure this was one of their earliest ones, so hopefully they did fix that issue. And of course, even though it is color by number, you can just do what you want. Like you can just make four, make 15 whatever color you want and assign it yourself, so. But I've been loving this book, and now this might be the first book I ever finish. We will see. I did one in my square mandalas and it is just the first page. So now that I did a random one, I'm probably gonna go in order. I'm working on the second page now, but we'll see about that. This is fun. And I also got a new Belba book, which I'll just show you right next. So I might be distracted from that one. I got, wow, animals. <laughs> so I did one page in here so far, which is the raccoons. Um, I mentioned in my last video or a previous video, I think my haul, that I don't like most animals and raccoons are included. Raccoons terrify me. Once I had a dream that a raccoon 
was like robbing me and like he could stand and he was like four feet tall and he like walked over it was terrifying I'm like acting it out but you can't see me but it was very scary so but I love the fact that he has berries and I enjoy fruit so I think that's what will make this page or this book fun so even if the animals are not my favorite fruit is so <laughs> Then I did some in World of Mice. I think I had done one the previous month, but I'm now going in order, so I can just show you in order. So I don't know if you've seen these before, but cereal mice. I think this was the first one of the month. And fruit mice. Some weird colors on this, but I guess they gotta do what they gotta do. I think I also really, I don't know why that's back there. There's one Christmas-esque picture in here that I think I wanted to do, but I didn't get to it, so I guess now it'll have to wait till real Christmas because we'll just keep going in order. I only managed to do three of my Disney colorings so far, which, unfortunate, but I did two in this book, which is Optical Illusions Volume 2. I did Kida, which, for my water theme, uh, this is what I actually did with the new Stettlers, and I was not happy at all. I don't know. There's very little, but there was leaking. It's not too bad, and I'm sure it can get covered up. And this page is Brother Bear, which I'm not really a fan of anyway. But it's the principle of the matter. So that was frustrating. It looks good, though. And then I also did Rue, which I actually did for my How I Color These books. So I will try to link that up above. But he's a happy guy. And then I actually did as a buddy color with Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love. I did a bunch of buddy colors, so I'm going to link all of their channels and either their channels if they have them or Instagrams if they don't have channels down below. Um, so what I asked her if we could do was she has two of these books so far, and I have all of them, of course. But I was like, why don't we pick one character and then we do two different pictures? So we picked Stitch and she did one in volume four and I did one in volume six and I thought that was really fun. So this is the Stitch I did. So this book actually does not have all the black lines but I just made the executive decision to make the lines black anyway. So these were supposed to be red lines and I think that was dark pink lines but I like this look with the dark black, so I just went for it anyway. So this was fun, and I really liked this idea that we do like our own versions of the character, because obviously like buddy coloring the color by number, they'll in theory come out pretty much the same. I guess you can use a little bit different tones, but I thought this was a fun way to do this. So if anyone wants to do that method with me out of these books, let me know. Okay, now I got my big boys so my color quests which are not going to be all on screen again oof, before i can't even show you all of this maybe in that direction luckily it's a pattern um i used my statlers again i really was trying to give them the benefit of the doubt and use them as much as possible before i return them in case maybe it was just an initial ink leak and they got better once you use them maybe it was like really hot when they were delivered so they had an issue but no they're not the best still but i was happy to get this page done because it has colors in it that i didn't have in the 72 set so there's that big boy i hope these colors are accurate they're not looking the most let me see hold on I put on my light. I had to walk around the table. Yeah, that might be more accurate. All right, so we're going to have to deal with some glare. Then I did one. Nope, I did two in the Posh Ultimate Creativity book that Lisa showed. I bought it right away, and I did two pages. So first, again, we're not going to be able to see the whole thing. I did... This tiger, I just love the weird colors. So this was a lot of fun to do. And while it's a huge, huge page, it's also kind of simple because they don't really worry about the background. And then I also did the Statue of Liberty. 
and oranges and stuff. And then this was crazy too because I used the 120 for this and I couldn't even match all the colors. Like this is supposed to be a very light purple and I didn't have one so I just went with gray. But you could see that it's like there's a lot of ink pile up and I don't know. But I still like how it came out and I think that luckily almost lends to the style for this one. Then I also did one in my new Corkles book. I did, this is the last of our giant books, so hopefully we'll be in screen after this. This giant green duck. So again, uh, I was trying to use those 120s. If you're probably like, why are you using them so much? I'm pretty sure they're gonna just trash them afterwards, which is unfortunate, but they don't work, so. And I wanted to do a purple duck, couldn't find five purples. I wanted to do a blue duck, couldn't find five blues. A pink duck, couldn't find it. So finally, we landed on this green duck. I don't know how I feel about corkles. We're gonna have to try again and see how it goes because this book, like I wish these pages were smaller. I'm sure the smaller, the less detail you could get. So we'll see what happens. I'll definitely try again because there's a turtle in here. So we'll definitely do a few pages. Also, Sam said he might do a page in here. I'm gonna try to convince him, but we'll see. Next color by number Christmas mosaic. This was the last video I just put out. So I'll link that where I talked about all the books I read in the month. And I just did a random page in here, which was this one. I'm very happy to have this book. It's another new one, but now I don't know if I'm gonna be getting much more done out of it until Christmas. Maybe I'll have a little Christmas in August too, we'll see. But this was fun. The colors again are a little bit weird, but I mean, you still know what it is, so I guess it's okay. It's almost just weird, like why did they put the oranges where they put them? I don't know. So definitely had fun though. We'll be doing more in here by Sun Life Drawing. I'm assuming everyone knows that, so I'm sorry I didn't say it. Next up is Creative Haven Merry Christmas Designs by Suzanne Anushin, hopefully. I also did a video on this which hopefully I'm linking again. I can only link five things, so we'll see what makes it. But this I did all with my metallic watercolors. So this was a lot of fun too. It was incredibly quick and simple. I think this page took me 20 minutes to do, but I really like how it looks and I just think it makes sense for a festive Christmas page. Unfortunately, my goal was to do three Christmas in July pages and I only did two. So that's sad, but you know, I guess it happens. Next, I think we did three split colorings this month, which again, my goal was five. So thanks, Sam, but we did three. So let's find them if we can. We did this. I don't know what you would call her. A flower fairy? She's got wings. So I like Sam's side. It reminds me of like the uh, green giant vegetables. <laughs> But I like my side too. I put glitter. Whenever I finish before him, I put glitter. So, ooh, this one was fun. We just did this one. Um, I decided to do everything in grays, so they're all gray except the balloons are in purple. And I again glittered them up. I used iridescent medium and just like painted it on. And I don't remember. He was trying to make a shadow, and then he was like, "Wait, it shouldn't be all the way up there." So he just gave up. But so that's kind of her shadow. So he made shadows. So. so that is Chibi Girls Volume 1 by April Amber. And then Chibi Girls Volume 3 by April Amber. We did. Ooh, you can see my whole shirt. It's this little fisherman lady. Fishing lady. So I enjoyed that we got this one because I've been fishing a lot in Animal Crossing. And now she's fishing. So I think that's all we did. That's all I have written down. So hopefully we do better next month, Sam. Okay, now I have some mandalas. I think I did this on the 29th. I actually did a video on this too, my how I color video. I think, right? I don't know, this is definitely in a video and wasn't finished. So here is the finished version. And then this might've been my how I color video. Does anyone know? <laughs> Dunno, but either way, those are the mandalas I finished since my last video. As always, I use two glitter gel pens and three uh, alcohol markers. So I love 
how that comes out. That is actually my 34th page done. So we are a third of the way through that book. Pretty cool. Then I have a page in Mandala's Relaxation, also by Camelia Angelkova. This is one of the books Jamie gave me as a happy mail. So I decided, of course, I needed to do one. And I did this first one. And I think, what did I look up to find this palette? I think I probably looked up Summer again. I'm not really sure. Almost definitely, I just looked up Summer. So the uh, yellow. Oh no, you know what I did for this one? Sorry, I didn't mean to scream that. I asked Jamie what her favorite color was and her favorite color is yellow. So I looked up yellow color palettes and this is what I got. This, my orange is a little bit too dark, unfortunately. So I just wanted it to look very yellow. So there's that. So that's my first page done in that book. Next, I'm so happy to have gotten things done in these two books. Uh, Million Sloths by Lulu Mayo. This is my first finished page in here. Yep. So this I did for Jamie's highlighter challenge. And I did a video on that too. That might be linked. We'll see. But I used my glitter highlighters for these flowers and then regular highlighters. These are erasable to make that crazy leaf look. So it's definitely a fun one. My accidental tube top sloth. And I did a buddy color with Ren on Instagram from A Million Bears. This one is really cool, I think. She kind of encouraged me to go crazy because we were talking about colors. And she's like, I just make it super colorful. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do that too. So I did. I did. I wanted to do rainbow, but I didn't want to do rainbow order because I feel like that's the most common. So I kind of did. Ooh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I hit the monopod. I like, it would loop like this. So like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, white. Yeah, you get it, you see it. And then I colored the bear's clothes in whatever their color was. So it is a bunch of glitter gel pens that's of course incredibly hard to show. But I really like that and it's fun. And I haven't done a double page in forever. So I'm happy she picked that page for us to do. Uh, I don't think she's done yet, but by the time I post this, she probably will be. So check her out on Instagram. Okay, now I did a page in Fairy Tales by Emily Oberg. This is my favorite artist, one of my very favorite books. And I actually had started this in June and kind of forgot about it, but I had gotten those Jane Davenport pastels and I did the background of the vase I guess the jar so all of this pink is the pastels and then I was like oh never finished this so I decided to finish it with my neo color twos and basically I just went down the purple row so each flower is a different shade of purple and each background is a different or each set of leaves is a different shade of green and then I just watered it up on Instagram I actually show before the water and then obviously the finished product so if you're interested in seeing that there that will be. We're getting there, okay. This one I didn't put post-its in, so we're just gonna have to flip. This is The Princess Bride, As You Wish, memorable quotes to color, coloring book, also from Jamie. And on video, I did this one. So this is the book that I love the idea of it, and it's gonna be, there may never be finished pages in here. And I'll show you what I mean. So for me, this might be done. I don't, I don't know if I'll go back to the background. But then I also did this, which again, I just did the words. I did regular watercolor and then I did my metallic watercolor. And you can definitely see that on camera, which is really nice. And then I also did this one, have fun storm in the castle. Again, the green is regular watercolor and the brown bronze is my metallic. So I really love this and I love just sitting and doing this and feeling no stress about what I'm doing really. So I might continue to do this in here and I think, I don't think James will mind and I think that would be a good way to get pages done in here and feel happy about it. There's some that I might do the whole page but I'm very not confident about all these people. So we'll see what we do but I really enjoy this book and I still need to rewatch the movie so hopefully in August I can get to do that. Okay, let me take a tiny break and show you something else. So, um, I'm basically getting to all my amazing body colors. 
in, every month, that's my, this is my bullet journal. And of course I wrote in neons this month so you can barely see. These are the new critters coming out in Animal Crossing. So if you play Animal Crossing and you're in North, Northern Hemisphere, that's for you. But every month I attempt to come up with five personal goals for myself with coloring. And again, everything I do with these goals is just to help me pick what to color basically because it can be really overwhelming with all the choices and I like to try to mix it up and not just do the same book over and over again kind of thing so I need two more goals so if you have any goals for me let me know um so some of my goals are color in five buddy colors this month which I think I did more than five in July so I should be good there but I'm excited to keep up that momentum it's been so much fun again if you have not yet buddy colored with me and want to message me on Instagram or I'm going to start putting my email down below in case that's better um three new books I bought a whole bunch of new books as you saw and of course I just have some books that I've had for a long time that I didn't use yet so I would like to color in three new books and color five Disney princes my theme for the month is going to be princes because it is Sam's birthday and I think that's cute that that is the theme. So I have space for two more goals. So if you have any ideas, let me know. My goals, can I show you? Oh, yeah, it's the same layout. My July critters, there were tons of new bugs this month. I still have to get them. But anyway, um, three Christmas in July, I ended up doing two. Five Sam colors, I ended up doing three. Eight different books. I definitely have like 15 books here. I just stopped counting. One Disney, not color by number. I still didn't get to. And then I had Neo color page. So these were all my pages for this month. That color is the two from June I didn't show. So that's kind of how I track my goals and stuff to make sure I'm ready for this video. Okay, now on to the good stuff. Paneling Whimsy Girls Through the Decades. I did two pages in here and both were buddy colors. Yeah, okay. So this one is my first buddy color with Emily, who is the butterfly hater on Instagram, which I love that name. I don't like butterflies either. I don't know if there's a deeper meaning to this, but I think butterflies are still just bugs and a lot of people go crazy for them. But anyway, so we did Sock Hop Sally, I'm assuming is her name. So, um... I didn't know, I did the yellow background right away and then I don't understand when it turned into like Americana, but it did. So I did a lot of my metallic paint again. Not a lot, but I did that. I thought that would help it make, help make it look neon. So obviously I'm a huge Hanalyn fan and I'm happy to already have two pages done in her newest book. And that is page number one. Then page number two, also Emily is gonna start a YouTube soon. I'm gonna make sure. So when she does, I'm gonna link her YouTube down below or hopefully for our next buddy color. I'll be able to link it. And this I did with Shayna in Colorland. This is, I don't remember, Workout Wendy, I think her name is. And always has fun names, but I don't always remember them. So this, I actually used my Jane Davenport chalk pastel, whatever background too. And then I tried to just do an 80s aerobics girl I actually like looked up some aerobics girls to pick my color scheme a little bit so I did all this is like when I just realized you could use your alcohol markers in Hannah Lynn books I don't know why I really don't do that often but this is color pencil her skin's color pencil her hair's color pencil everything else is the Cali art markers and then the background is the chalk pastel Whew, no words so i'm very happy um i'm expecting to do more pages in here in august and i love all hanolin stuff so there's that this month only one new buddy color in chibi girls but it's with jenny from rainy day coloring which her youtube channel is brand new so you should check her out again i'm gonna link everything i can down below we did The Magician, and things went south for me on the, what is this? I can't, all of my words have left me. This is the velvet curtain, yeah, okay. Um, things went a little south for me on the curtain, but I don't think it looks bad. I think I saved it, but I didn't want to do a red curtain because I felt like 
that would be my normal instinct. So I wanted to do something different. So I did this blue and then I decided to go over the lines with gel pen and then I thought my line work is real terrible and nothing is straight. So then I just went over it with iridescent paint because that makes, glitter makes everything better. So I really like how this came out. I went with weird colors. I used more iridescent stuff wherever I could. There's glitter everywhere and I, I love this book. So this has been another popular book for buddy colors. So if you have it and want to, let me know. Then my final buddy color, my final page to show you, and I'm pretty sure my first page of the month, it feels like years ago at this point, is from Yippie Kawaii Mandala Magic Volume 1 by Danny Banani from Fun Usual Suspects. What an intro. And this I did with Shayna from Shayna and Colorland again. And we did the cacti. So I really like how this came out. I used my Faber-Castell Art of Pit Pens brush tips for this. And I went with like greens and purples and grays because of course I did, because these are all my favorite colors. So no surprise there, but that was fun. I love this book so much. Um, again, if you have this book, super would love to do some buddy colors. Basically, I've been doing a whole bunch of color by number on my own and then a whole bunch of buddy colors in other books and it's just been the perfect balance. So yes, we made it. If you made it till the end, cactus, that's our word of the day. I think people are liking that. I hope you've been participating. So I hope, but um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I have so many new ideas coming up in August. I'm really excited to show you and I'm probably going to film a bunch of it right now because I have the time, I have the space. Let's just do it. But again, if you want any of these books, they'll be linked down below. If you would please follow all of my buddies, they'll be linked down below. If I miss anything, let me know and I will link it down below. And yes, that's the end of that. I will see you in two days with my next video. Bye.